Hello, welcome back. I'm Mr. Franklin. Real quickly, I just want to do a quick refresher on our exponents and how to do math with exponents. So, in algebra, you might have learned x squared times x squared is x to the fourth, which makes sense because what's this? x times x times x times x, right? There's two of those and two of those. But if you rewrite it, you've got one, two, three, four x's multiplying times each other. Okay? If I have 10 cubed times 10 squared, that's the same kind of a process. What am I going to do when I'm multiplying my exponents? Just like up here, I'm actually doing x and then 2 plus 2, I'm going to do 10 and 3 plus 2. You add your exponents, so it's going to be 10 to the 5th power. Okay? What if they're negative? What if it's 10 to the negative 2 times 10 to the 7th? You still add them. Okay, so 10 and negative 2 plus 7 is equal to 10 to the 5th. Okay? Pretty simple. Okay, let's take a look at if these numbers are on in a fraction. In algebra, you should have learned that x squared divided by x to the fourth, if I'm dividing by those, what am I going to do? I'm going to take my x, write the 2, but if I'm dividing, I'm actually going to subtract the exponents. And so I get x to the negative 2. Okay? If you want to check your answer, you could do this. x times x, x squared, right? Divided by x times x times x times x cancels, cancels, what am I left with? 1 over x squared. And yesterday we talked about how x squared on the bottom of a fraction is equal to x to the negative 2. It means division. Okay? So now we're going to do the same thing, but instead of x's, we're going to use 10. Powers of 10. So if I have 10 to the 8th, that's one we're going to do, divided by 10 to the negative 19. Now let's do an easier number. Let's do uh, 10 to the negative 12. Okay? Let's try it. So 10, 8, minus, what's this? Negative 12. So I got to write the negative 12. If I minus a negative, it's the same as adding it, right? So that's actually going to be equal to 10 to the 20. Okay? So let's try one. I'm going to give you one. I want you to try it, and then I'm going to show you one more thing. Let's try 10 to the 7th divided by 10 to the 3rd. Try that. You can pause the video if you need to. Okay, so let's check it. So 10, and then we've got, we're dividing, so it's a, we're going to subtract 7, that's a positive, so 7 minus 3, so that's going to equal 10 to the 4th. Okay? Let's apply this how we're going to see it, though. We're going to see numbers like 3 times 10 to the 8th times 4 times 10 to the negative 2, and we're going to have to calculate that out. Now, yes, your graphing calculator can do this, but we're going to be getting into some numbers that graphing calculators, even the more powerful ones, don't necessarily like. Okay? So we're, that's why we're doing this manual. So 3 times 4 is... So you notice what I'm doing. 3 times 10 times 4 times 10. This is all multiplying. So I could really write it 3 times 10 to the 8th times 4, times 10 to the negative 2. And so now I'm just going to go 4 times 3, which is 12. Okay. And then I'm going to do my exponents. Times 10, they're multiplying, so 8 plus 
negative 2. See how I'm taking my exponents? This one and this one. They're multiplying, so I'm going to add them. So I'm going to get 12 times 10 to the 6th power. Now, just a little extension. If I'm going to convert that to scientific notation, the decimal's here. I'm going to move it over 1. 1.2 times 10. Ooh, it's not the 6th anymore because I moved the decimal over. So, here's the test. If this was, is 12 bigger than 1.2? Yes. So that means this has to increase, become more positive, okay, by 1. Because that's how many places I moved it. Okay? You're going to see that a couple times and we're going to practice that a bunch more. So, I've given you some problems where all you're doing is these. And you need to practice those and try those. And then I'm going to give you another set where you're doing some like this. You need to practice and try it, okay? Eventually, I'm going to show you how to do this in your calculator, but there are some numbers that we're going to get to where your calculator will not be able to do, okay?